After nearly a month-long standstill, rival parties have finally kicked off discussions to bring the nation's parliament back to normalcy. The floor leaders are hoping for improved cooperation, but so far, it appears little to no progress is made. Kim mo has the latest from the National Assembly. On Wednesday, floor leaders of the nation's four negotiation blocs officially begun discussions on normalizing parliamentary affairs. Floor leaders of the ruling Democratic Party of Korea, main opposition Liberty Korea Party, minor Padinmide Party, and the group of lawmakers for peace and justice gathered at the National Assembly on Wednesday afternoon. What's important now is for the parliament to be normalized. We, the Democratic Party of Korea, will try to give in as much as possible so that we could come up with an agreement as soon as possible. The ruling party not only took over the top office, but also local authorities. If it also takes over the legislative power, there will be no one left to check and balance. I will try my best to come up with a compromise together with my respectful fellow floor leaders. After speaking at a closed-door meeting, the representatives did not provide further details and stopped short of saying that business-level negotiations will begin as early as Thursday, adding that the floor leaders will gather again as soon as meaningful results have been drawn up. However, a bumpy road seems to be ahead as all four negotiating blocs have different scenarios planned, especially when it comes to allocating key positions in the parliament. One of the top agenda to be discussed is the selection of the National Assembly's new speaker and vice speakers and the heads of the 18 standing committees. Conventionally, the party with the most seats in the 300-member parliament took the speakership in Korea, which raises the chances for the ruling party to take on the key role. So the ruling party is pushing for the parliamentary leadership to be decided first. But opposition parties are claiming that the parliamentary chairmanship, comprised of one speaker and two vice speakers, should be selected in tandem with a fair allocation of standing committees. Kim Mo-gyeon, Arirang News.